In this video, we're going to be talking about intermittent fasting and cancer prevention. I'm going to go over a recent study that shows that intermittent fasting can actually prevent cancer. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Kola and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you really want to improve your fitness health nutrition along with me, hit that subscribe button along with the bell indicator so you never miss one of my videos. Okay, let's get right on top. Let's talk about intermittent fasting and cancer prevention. Let's go over this study. Actually, a woman named Ruth Patterson, she's a PhD, she led the study. This study was conducted between 1995 and 2007. It, was, it had over 2,400 women in it, so a pretty good substantial study. And these women had early stage breast cancer. Now, what the study wanted to look at is that if women fasted beyond 13 hours, will they have a reduced rate of a reoccurrence of breast cancer? Okay? So, and, and, and how the study was done is that they wanted the participants, the women, to stay with the normal circadian rhythms, meaning that they didn't want them to skip breakfast. They wanted them to wake up half breakfast. Some of the women, you know, stopped eating and gave themselves a 13 hour or greater fasting window. Other women didn't. And the women who did fast for over 13 hours in the evening had a much less reoccurrence of breast cancer, which is really incredible. This is a real good human study. Now also, um, Ruth let women at night have coffee, half tea, you know, so this is a real, this is really doable. You know, if, if just fasting for 13 hours or greater can reduce the reoccurrence of cancer, you know, it's really an amazing thing. It's not that hard to do. Okay. Now there were some other conclusions from the studies too that were really positive. They also, they also concluded that A1C improved. A1C is that number that when you go get your blood work, you know, it shows like three months of blood glucose levels. For example, if your A1C gets really, really high, they think you may become pre-diabetic and you can make it, it may lead to diabetes. So there was improvements in that number. There's also were some inflammatory type improvements. So they concluded that fasting beyond 13 hours can also maybe help with cardiovascular disease and obviously also help type 2 diabetes. And I also want to link up another video I did. I did a video on three other studies, on human studies that talk about all the other benefits of intermittent fasting. You know, I'm making this video like kind of like to spread the word. You know, I personally have been intermittent fasting, me and my wife, over eight, nine years. You know, I own a gym. I have so many clients on the program. Everyone's doing well. People are losing weight. They're improving their health and it's not that hard to do. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And remember, if you want to improve your fitness, health, and nutrition along with me, hit that subscribe button. And also, you know, I read the study a few times. If you have any questions, a little more detailed questions about the study, you know, I'll try to answer for you in the comments. And there's also a great video that Ron Patrick did interviewing Ruth Patterson, which I'm going to link up below this video. Okay. Well, take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day.